Hulk smash! What a kind of cliche and failed pun. <laughs> well, hey guys, I'm reviewing, obviously, The Hulk today from the LEGO Superheroes Marvel Ultra Build lineup. So I've got LEGO Marvel Superheroes, of course, age, range, and set number there. Image of hulking, a kind of, I guess, post-apocalyptic city with the... Uh, a nice autumn morning behind him, <laughs> and uh, it looks like uh, the Avengers Marvel The Hulk. Turn to the back, we've got an alternate mode of Hulk with big shoulders. A small uh, ad in a circle for the ball and socket system. Friction joint for bigger building. Marvel superheroes Lego again, set number whatever combiner with Iron Man to make sort of mega Hulk I guess and now the instructions which are here and the same on the front it's on the front of the box comic See there shows this kind of silhouetted heads of Captain America Iron Man and Hulk on the on the end of most pages the last page is 21 those are the pieces, Iron Man and Captain America, and um, the combination again. Shows Stringer, Voltix, Bulk and Core Hunter from the Lego Hero Factory Summer 2012 Breakout line. So that's pretty interesting. Nice ad, and the system sets are there. Nothing else. Apart from the screaming kid, the guy. <laughs> Hulk shall smash him. That's the end of this review. Anyway, uh, here is Hulk. An inventive figure, to say the least. Uh, to go into the building experience, well, like I said, inventive, definitely. I think the best out of the best building experience out of all of the uh, ultra build figures from this year. I'd have to say it's not exactly the best figure, definitely, by a long shot, I'd say, but uh, the building experience itself was actually pretty unique and innovative. I, I like it. Um, again, the final result, the finished result, isn't top-notch, but the building was just unique. So, that's why I liked it so much. Truly enjoyable, in my opinion. Now, parts. Got the, I'd say, medium-sized lower bone, lower leg or arm bone element in lime green. Got the blue pants. These aren't new, but there's been some... Annoyance in the Lego community over these being blue. Blue in the first place because, well, Hulk has purple pants, normally. Or shorts, whatever you want to call them. But they're blue. Obviously because Lego sort of has a purple syndrome or reluctance to use purple for some reason. And uh, so these are blue. But I guess you could buy Joker. If you have Joker, you could just swap them out for six long purple pieces that he has. Pretty easy. There are the friction joints in there. E yeah, yeah. God, tearing this off, it really kills the thing. This is the new chest plate. It's got a huge width, very wide, but uh, isn't too big lengthwise, obviously. It's actually a bit smaller than I thought it would be. I mean, just looking on images, looking at images on the web and on the box, and you know. Just a bit smaller, I think, but still a pretty big piece nonetheless. Also features in the Stormer XL set for the Summer Hero Factory line, of course. There's nothing on the front in this set, but you could attach a Hero Core, like Stormer has, I guess, or anything else. Engine cap, whatever you want to use, really. The head of the Hulk. Not exactly movie accurate, but uh, looks kind of like the Hulk in the comics. Very angry, nice texture on the hair. Kind of reflects the light a bit. Sort of gunmetal pieces up here. That's not really accurate to anything, I don't think, because, uh, well, Hulk's green. Completely green. Apart from his clothes and hair, then, you know, metal. What? Here we have the pieces from the Refactory Savage Planet in lime green. And that's just about it. It doesn't include too many, or many pieces at all, really. 
But nevertheless, I'd still like to show you all the bone elements that are used on the back. I mean, there's a lot here. I mean, we've got the ones from the legs, the arms, but the body, we've got two torsos. One is the mega large torso, the third largest, and obviously the largest overall. And then we've got a uh, the smallest torso with no ball joints here, but with loads of limbs surrounding it. I mean, the problem is that they're not really attached to anything, so they can just swivel back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I mean, provides more articulation for his arms, but it's just a bit weird. His body is not even connected. And then what's even worse is, well, these flaps up here, which is supposed to be, well, his shoulders. They're just, they're just not attached to anything. There's loose ball joints and... Ah, it's terrible. But uh, still, like I said, very inventive design, but it does have some flaws, admittedly. Playability, though, has got very stout, stubby legs, but uh, still can move fairly well. So can the arms. Smash whoever he wants. Head can do a 360. has an extra joint there, so it can move better than uh, most figures, actually. The body can even move, like I said, a, a, such a big figure, he has, well, standard, if not, uh, well, above average articulation. Not um, not exactly in a good way, though. But uh, Hulk, overall, I'd like to say he's a good figure. I would recommend him. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend you get him first, but if you want an inventive build, not, not, not necessarily the best design, but a very inventive build, then I would recommend you to get Hulk. I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with a uh, very innovative design once in a while, is there? But I promised that he would actually hit this kid who keeps appearing on all of the manuals. <laughs> so annoying. But, uh, so he shall do that. Hulk! Smash! Ah, uh -uh. There's the finale to the review. Hulk's body nearly fell apart due to all of the hollowness and, well, looseness. So, yes, bye guys.